Are you brave enough to wear bold makeup? Let's check! Try amazing eye and lip makeups and experiment with DIY beauty products. We are going to enter the cinema, but Blondie is not ready for the performance. Her lips are way too pale for this bright movie. We will fix it with my superhero EOS lip balm. Open an EOS container and take out the lip balm. Put in red lipstick. Add beeswax granules. Melt it in a microwave. Pour the prepared mixture into the EOS cap and put it into a fridge. Make two drop-shaped holes in the hardened balm using an awl. These are Spider-Man's eyes. Mix beeswax, castor oil, and white food coloring. Melt it over a candle and pour it into the eye holes. Scratch a cobweb with an awl. Define the eye contour and the cobweb with black eyeliner. My friend opens the EOS lip balm and Spider-Man looks at her out of it. It's awesome! Blondie is completely mesmerized by the little spider. It's so handy to have a superhero in your pocket. The movie is over, but we are still excited. Redhead loves the movie so much that she can't calm down all the way home. I will make a present to cheer up my fantastical friend. It's Iron Man EOS. Roll out air-dry clay and wrap EOS lip balm in it. Cut off the excess. Dampen the clay with water to smooth it out. Make a cut at the joining so that the lip balm can open. Cut elements of Iron Man's mask out of a separate piece of clay. Assemble the details. Dampen the base with water and attach the mask. Cover the seams with water to secure them nicely. Make sure to cut the clay as far as you add the details, letting the balm open. Paint the clay with golden and red acrylic paint when it dries completely. Define silver eyes and use brown paint to add shades. In this way, we will make it more voluminous and realistic. Redhead is happy. Iron Man is her favorite superhero. Now, she will always keep it with her. Well, they look nice together. What a boring day! Sometimes, you just need something magical to happen. Ask, and you shall receive. I've just been thinking about magic, and a real Alice from Wonderland appears. Alice hasn't come empty-handed. Looking at my pale and bored face, she's brought a gigantic face powder. Take a cookie tin and spray paint it gold. Cover foam plastic balls with foundation. Draw a powder label on a round piece of golden cardboard using a marker. Hot glue it to the lid. Cover the balls with pearl paint and put them into the box. I open a gigantic face powder. Wow! With balls like these, you may do makeup for all people with bored faces in the city. I offer Alice to join my tea party, but she seems to prefer being a guest at a mad tea party, along with the hatter and the March hare. So Alice disappears. Some magic tricks and makeup miniatures appear on the table. It seems that Alice acquired it from her voyage to Lilliput. For example, thin, tiny lip gloss. It is perfect for my tender lips. Take a small glitter bottle. Take off the cotton from a Q-tip. Cut off a little piece of the stick. Take off an eyeshadow applicator and cut half of it. Attach the applicator tip to the plastic stick. Cut off a cap of a marker using a heated knife. Hot glue the top of the cap to the glitter bottle. Open the bottle and hot glue the applicator stick into the cap. Take off a wiper from a regular lip gloss and pour the gloss into the little bottle. Put the applicator inside and close the cap. Write the name on the bottle using a black marker. The lip gloss is so space-saving that it can fit into the tiniest makeup bag. I am missing one detail for a fabulous makeup. I need to emphasize my eyes. But what should I use for my eye makeup? Alice takes out a mini eyeshadow. 
Paint an empty matchbox black. Color the outer cover of the matchbox black too. Leave one side unpainted. Make only a black frame. Cover the middle with a few layers of silver paint. And decorate with nail stickers. Cut an empty blister package to fit the inside part of the box. Paint it black too. Crush eyeshadow you broke or finished using and fill the sections of the blister. Add a drop of rubbing alcohol and compact the eyeshadow. Put the palette miniature into the box. It's like a miracle! The eyeshadow is small indeed, but it works well. I do makeup to my magic friend, emphasizing her eyes. Then I try to define her cheekbones, but all I managed to do is a pink dot. Mmm, it's okay. I repeat it on her other cheek. Alice doesn't mind. Are there different beauty standards in Wonderland? Let's make our life sweet. We will need cotton candy for that. And cupcake-inspired makeup. Brilliant idea. Cover your entire lips white. Apply pink face paint to the upper lip. This is cupcake cream. Imitate cream streaks. Paint the lower lip brown. This is a sponge base. Add brown sponge on your upper lip between the pink cream streaks. Define your lower lip with the white pencil from the bottom. Put a chain of blue half circles. This is the edge of the paper cup. Add bright pink and a little white on the upper lip. Put white glints on the lower lip, blending them. Decorate the lower lip with rhinestones. Put a red half bead in your cupid's bow. And add a green cherry leaf. Now my friend and I are real sweet girls. This makeup is a bit bold, but it's certainly eye-catching. It seems we are straight from a candy shop window. We are having a party of a secret sweet tooth society. Vicky invites her friend, but there is one condition that has to be met. She has to do appropriate makeup. Redhead is surprised, but why not? It's an excellent opportunity to try out a sweet cake inspired makeup. Apply lilac eyeshadow. Add some brown. Cover the inner corner with yellow. Add bright green to the center of the lid. And make a blue turquoise ombre on the outer corner. Define the lower lid with the same colors. Apply thin black eyeliner on the top lid. Repeat it on top using red liquid lipstick and a thin brush. Use face paint to make a cake. Paint a slanted rectangle in pale blue. Make pink cream on top. Paint black parallel lines and define the cream outline. Emphasize the cream texture with burgundy paint. Add a cake decoration with royal blue. Define it with white. Scatter a few candies in blue wrappers. Paint a cherry near the cake. Scatter out some confetti on the upper lip using a pinhead. The makeup is done! You're ready to go to a candy-themed party! Your eye makeup looks delicious! Come on, sweet tooths! The fairy is cooking breakfast for her new friend. But Belle can't look at food when her eye makeup isn't done. The fairy should have prepared eyeshadow for breakfast. But the magician knows how to fix the situation. She swings her magic wand and turns a frying pan handle into mascara. Spray paint a round metallic lid. Paint the inside white. Put mascara onto the rim. Make marks. Make a slanted pad out of hot glue. Make sure the mascara is attached to the lid at an angle. Hot glue the joining. Dip your fingers into water and smooth the hot glue. 
My goodness! Belle has never suspected what a beauty treasure is hiding in her frying pan. Apparently, she should cook more often. What is glittering on the fairy's finger? It's a ring of sweet dreams and of soft lips, because there is lip balm hidden in the ring. Melt some coconut oil and the remains of an old lipstick in a microwave. Add a little edible glitter. Stir. Pour the mixture into a round glitter container. Let the lip balm harden for about an hour and attach the container to a blank ring. Decorate the cap using clear nail polish with glitter. Belle really likes this unusual ring. She just needs one like this in her beauty collection. The dream fairy is very generous. She gives the ring to Belle It seems Starry has eaten all her lip makeup, and Moon's got a gift for her. Take a lipstick you don't like. Let's turn it into Super Galaxy Makeup. Cut a sponge into several parts. Paint the top with acrylic paint. Use black, blue, and red ones. Dab the top to make a space nebula. Dip a toothbrush into white acrylic paint and flip it to make stardust. Paint the tube in the same way. Melt lipstick above a flame. Add blue food coloring. Stir with a wooden stick. Add glitter of lilac, blue, and silver shades. Pour the galaxy liquid back into the tube. Wait 10 minutes until it hardens. The galaxy lipstick glows like a star. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new magical ideas on the Troom Troom channel.